Welcome to this video. This video is a short introductory video on the second course that we will be starting shortly, which will be on microeconomics. Right, so in this video, we will be discussing these topics. First, we will discuss which topics we will be covering in this particular course. After that, we will discuss some other details, such as what will be the medium of accessing this course, what is the validity, etc. After that, we will see the fee of this course and the discounts available and till which last date. After that, we will see the procedure of enrolling in this video course. Right. So, let's go ahead and see which topics we will be covering in this particular course. Right. So, before we go into that, let us let me uh, give you a brief understanding of what our approach will be in this course. See, as you already know that the RBI DEPR exam is a numerical focused exam, right? So, and there are many candidates who have not studied microeconomics from this perspective or even if they were taught microeconomics from this perspective, they are uh, they have almost forgotten what they were taught, right? So, through this course, the objective will be to cover the important topics for microeconomics for the RBI DEPR exam. And as you already know, because the syllabus is same or at least similar for other exams also, such as SEBI research, IES, etc., this course will help you for other exams also. Right. So, what topics will we cover in this? So, we will begin this course with the very basics. Like I mentioned in one of the previous videos when I introduced the statistics and econometrics course, we will begin with basics. The course will be structured in such a way that a candidate who does not have prior knowledge of microeconomics, if that person enrolls in the course and follows it diligently, that person will be able to understand the topics very well. Right. At the same time, you are expected to have some knowledge of mathematics. For example, you should know differentiation, you should know integration, constrained optimization, unconstrained optimization. Uh, straight lines, polynomials, these basic topics you should have understanding of. So, I expect you to have understanding of basic mathematics and the microeconomics portion we will take care of in this course. Right, so we will begin with the basic concept of central problems of an economy. Right, after that we will go to other such basic topics such as market versus state economy. We will understand what we mean by that. Then positive versus normative economics. We will understand the meaning of this. After that, we will go to the crux. So, this will be in some sense the first important unit of this course and this will consist of consumer behavior. Now, in this particular unit, we will be covering all those topics which are important for this particular exam. For example, we will begin with the concept of utility. We will understand what we mean by utility. Then we will go and understand the meaning of cardinal versus ordinal utility. After that, we will understand the process of utility maximization. So, herein we will expect you to already be familiar with the topic of constrained optimization. Sorry for the wrong spelling. Optimization in this is a mathematics topic, right? So, Lagrangian using Lagrangian, you should be able to do constraint optimization. If you have forgotten it, please revise it from set setter, right? So, after util utility mock maximization, under the topic of optimal choice, there are two categories, right? First is the income offer curve and engine curve. The other one is demand curve and price of curve. So, we will understand these we will understand them with demand curve. We will understand the related concepts also, such as what is the meaning of 
शिफ्टिंग ऑफ डिमांड कर्व वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ मूवमेंट अलॉन्ग अ डिमांड कर्व वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड एंड हाउ वी कैलकुलेट इट वॉट आर देन यू विल गो टू द टॉपिक ऑफ प्राइस इफेक्ट एंड वी विल सी हाउ डू वी ब्रेक प्राइस इफेक्ट इन टू सब्सटीट्यूशन इफेक्ट एंड इनकम इफेक्ट वी विल ऑल्सो सी द टॉपिक ऑफ स्लट्सकीज इक्वेशन right so and just remember that some topics we will be covering from numericals point of view rather all topics we will be covering from numericals point of view as far as the derivations are concerned we might derive a few results for example let's take the case of slutsky's slutsky's equation we may or may not derive it right so whatever topics or whatever proofs we feel are important for the exam we will try to touch upon them in fact we will cover them but not all theorems not all proofs those topics which are which we think are important for dpr exam we will be covering it here right so after that we will go to the second unit the second unit will be that of production and costs here and we will be covering the topic of production function what is cost function what is total product marginal product average product iso cons iso cost curve how to maximize so there are two types of numericals right so how to maximize output subject to a given cost or how to minimize cost subject to a given level of output so you'll be seeing numericals of this type we will see the meaning of duality and we will see some laws of return after that we will go to the third unit the third unit will consist of market structures therein we will be co covering perfect competition monopoly oligopoly and monopolistic competition and the monopolistic competition we will be covering only the important models we will also cover the basics of game theory not in too detail but only the basics which are which is usually tested in exams right after that we will go to the next unit which will be of welfare economics therein we will be covering all those things which are important for the exam including the topic of pure exchange so from last two years we are getting a numerical on this topic and we will be covering this apart from that we will also be covering all those topics such as uh, externality public good all those topics will also be covered okay then we should also know which topics that will which are the topics that will not be covered okay so if you have a look at the ies syllabus i am reading from there so under the topic of let's say theory of value if you see that topic such as a uh, public sector pricing ma marginal cost pricing average cost pricing cross subsidy pricing average cost pricing and similarly if you see the topic of theory of distribution so in that the topic of macro theories of distribution of let's say kelechki and other people caldor caldor kelechki ricardo those topics will also be not be covered 
right so be clear about which topics are covered and which topics are not covered in case you have any doubt on which topic is covered or not please feel free to drop a message on our telegram number and we will reply to you right so let's stop here in the topic of uh, in the discussion of topics i think this is broadly which which we wanted to tell you about the topics that we will cover and some of the small or the in detail topics that we have not mentioned we we might also be covering so if you are unclear do drop us a message and just to reiterate our objective is to cover all those topics which are important from the exams point of view if you have seen the statistics and econometrics course we will be approaching even this um so this subject sincerely our objective is that anyone who enrolls in this course and follows this course should benefit from it right so we'll be making this course with that objective only there will be numericals there will be uh there will be guidance or there will be there will be explanation of how to approach the numericals apart from that you should also know some other details for example what will be the validity the validity will be one year from the date of enrollment all classes will be pre recorded there will be no live classes and like the previous course there will be no individual doubt support okay now you have already seen the statistics stats and ecotex course so you would be having some idea of whether you really missed this uh point of individual doubt support or you could understand the contents of the video even without this doubt support right so like i have mentioned before i know that you can have doubts in fact anyone who is trying to be inquisitive will have doubts now those doubts are of two types one is what is important for the exam or relevant for the exam those doubts you should have and find answers to it the other types of doubts are only because of your curiosity i mean you know even you know that maybe a question on this type will not be asked but you are curious and that's the right thing so how i used to approach my doubts when i was in college i used to doubt write my doubt, uh, doubts with a pencil in my notebook and whenever i came to that topic in my second round of reading most of those doubts i used to find that they have been cleared automatically the remaining doubts i used to discuss with my friends or i used used to use google search right so you can consider that option now what is the fee structure fee structure like i have already mentioned is going to be rupees 5500 plus gst this will take the fee to rupees 6490 regarding this discounts any so the discounts will be of there will be two components the first component of the discount is a launch offer discount this will be 10% of the price of the fee for anyone the second component will be existing student discount so anyone who is enrolled in the previous video course or is enrolled in the test series that person gets a discount of additional 15 percentage points so the two will add up to 25% okay these discounts are going to be valid only till the mentioned date if we want to extend it we might extend the date but once the discounts elapse they elapse right so at this point of time the date that we are deciding is 15th of april 2023 right so the duration of how much time will we take to cover the course approximately it will take 2 months for the course to be complete and you might be thinking if the notification comes out before that then what will happen if that situation happens we will have to skip some topics and cover only the important topics right hopefully that situation will not arise and we will get full time to complete the course which books to refer like in the course on statistics and econometrics even in this course we will tell you for each class on which course to refer 
there'll be like three four books maybe at most and if you want all those books are very good if you want or if you are keep, uh, if you are financially sound you can consider purchasing them otherwise you can even consider reading them the pdf of those books correct so what are the prerequisites prerequisites will be your knowledge of basic mathematics differentiation integration optimization the optimization will be unconstrained as well as constrained optimization sit chatter is a very good book to revise this sit chatter and hammond right then some class 12 11 12th or 10th basic topics of straight lines polynomials by polynomials primarily the quadratic so if you want to revise these you can go back to ncert when do we start the course this course or the classes will start from next week and when do we start the enrollments we will start next week only that is around let's say 22nd of feb is when the classes will start we will go about it slowly in the first two weeks that is till let's say around 7th of march the classes will be slow to come by after that it will gain momentum right i think that's about what i wanted to communicate through this video if you have any doubts please feel free to drop a message on our telegram number and we will be happy to respond right so this is a tentative date i mean approximately around this time a few days here and there we will be starting this right and just to mention one more point sorry so regarding the fee anyone who is enrolling so the existing student discount is valid and also till 15th of april both these discounts are valid till 15th of april so anyone who enrolls in the statistics course let's say till 15th of april is eligible for this discount apart from that anyone who enrolls in both the courses together till this date so if a person enrolls in statistics and econometrics as well as the microeconomics course i think this will cost you around this amount okay this is only till this mentioned date okay so i think this is all we wanted to mention in this video now thank you for joining